<laughs> All right, guys. Today we have a new video and a new creepy pasta to look into. Strap in, grab whatever you may need. But the warning is there. This video may be scary. You've all been warned. But welcome aboard, guys, to a brand new Minecraft video. We are in a forest in the middle of nowhere. I have no clue what world this is. It was a world that I loaded up quite a while ago. So I'm not quite sure what this world is all about. It could be very creepy and I don't even know it. So if anything weird happens, I guess we will, well, be encountering it. But today, more importantly, guys, is a brand new creepypasta that I wanted to go in. I wanted to read and I wanted to kind of analyze with you all in this very creepy Minecraft night. But for, before we do anything, guys, let's set the mood. Just let's change the mood a little bit. And one thing that I want to do is get some netherrack and just start a fire. It's nice to have the crackling sound of a fire and uh, things of sort, guys. Well, we're usually investigating and going through some very tough times in some of the other videos on the channel. First off, if you're not a subscriber, what? Are you good? What is wrong with you? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Enable post notifications and another reason you might want to do that. It's because, ladies and gentlemen, we're giving away some gift cards. PSN and Xbox codes are being delivered out. To enter, all you got to do is subscribe, enable post notifications, like the video, and comment below. But besides that, guys, it seems to be getting daytime as well. We want the night setting to make sure that we get the full experience here. And well... So far, just from the title of this story, guys, I can tell you it's a little eerie. I am a little bit on the fence about this one, too, guys. And to be truthful, I don't want to start encountering this entity. I really don't want to start encountering this entity, guys. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I don't want to encounter this entity at all. I'm turning off fire spread. There we go. Okay, guys, we have a nice crackling fire there. Everything is good. We're all in. Are you guys in for the story? All right, so this is the story of Evil Steve. Now, as you guys can probably tell by the title of that already, I'm not too enticed by get diving into this, guys, because I feel like once we know about Evil Steve or this entity, we're not going to be able to erase it from our memory and, like, what if, like, some of the symptoms or something, like, this starts happening to us, like, I don't like the idea of evil Steve. I mean, I know we've had multiple Steves, like, uh, green Steve, red Steve, but we haven't straight up just had an entity known as evil Steve. So, no, thank you. I'm shaking my head, no. Anyways. <clears throat> Let's dive into this story, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and uh, let's make this a little bit more environmental. Add some black bars. Make this a little bit more eerie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might keep that. I don't know. That, that, that might be a little bit too much editing, but we may or may keep it. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right. Anyways, let's go. I was walking around my world when I saw a Steve with an evil face staring up at me. I went up to him and then he disappeared. I was scared, but I just thought it was my friend who was messing with me. So I let it go and I went to a mine uh, and, uh, well, got some wood, made a house. I went into the house, I went out of the house to go mining for diamonds. But when I got down there, I got trip wired and there was TNT under it. So I had to get out of there. Now I was really scared. My heart started beating and then I realized I left some materials back at the house. When I got back, my house was on fire. I didn't know what was going on, but then, I got an answer. I went out of the house after I got all my belongings out of the chest. When I was running, I looked up and seen a sign saying, You are next. I swear. My heart sunk into my stomach after reading that sign. I wanted to turn off my computer, but I was too obsessed with it, so I stayed a little longer. But then, I swear, this part made me jump out of my chair, turn my computer off, run. I was walking up a cliff. And then I saw a fire trail into a cave. And then I saw a little tunnel. I walked into it. And then there was another sign that said, Look behind you. I turned around and then I saw an evil face with a blue shirt staring at me. That was the worst thing that I've experienced. And then my computer crashed. I tried opening the world, but it said it was hacked by Black Steve. And that was the last time I played on that world. And I haven't seen him since. And I want to keep it that way. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the quick summary of Evil Steve. 
I read that exactly how it was, guys. It was a very short summary slash story of an individual's encounter with this supposedly evil Steve Black Steve to a degree. Um, I'm guessing the reason why another referenceable name is Black Steve is due to his all-black appearance with red eyes almost. He's almost like taking the appearance of Null or something of sorts. It is definitely odd and, uh... He thought it was his friend trolling him, but apparently there's traps. Evil Steve set up a trap! If we analyze this and we go back over this, guys, it d he deliberately says in this story that he got tripwired and TNT started going out, so he had to run back to his house, and as he got there, his house was on fire! This is not good, guys. So, his house was on fire, he had to run, get all of his belongings, and then there was a sign saying, you are next. Now, I just want to quick quickly clarify. We do know these entities like to contact us and talk to us through signs in our worlds, and that is what's very creepy, guys. If you see a sign saying something creepy, don't play on your world no more, guys. I would recommend getting off that world because, guys, if you have watched the Boogeyman Saga videos that are also going up on this channel, you will know we've been experiencing some weird stuff when it comes to these signs, guys, and I do not doubt this person one minute about these creepy signs. And what's the scariest thing ever that says, look behind you, and then he sees... The evil Steve right there looking at him with red eyes in his face. I couldn't even imagine, to be honest. But, there's still more. There's more to this. So, let's look up at the another segment uh, describing evil Steve and read this. The evil Steve is mad and wants to take it out on the world. People are dying and reports are saying before they die, they see a dark face with red eyes right in front of him. I hope you guys can prep to defeat him because if he keeps this up, Minecraft will be transformed into a game of hell. The only person we can hope to help us is Notch, but Notch died in a battle against evil Steve. Wait, what? What do you, what do you mean? Did actually the developer Notch actually find evil Steve? Apparently, Evil Steve is out to kill people in their worlds, guys. That's what this is kind of summarizing up and saying. And we need to always be prepared if we do have any encounters with him. All right, let's talk about some of the sightings that has been labeled here. There has been many sightings of the Evil Steve, and the only one found was when he was walking in the dark, and then he saw the Evil Steve in the distance. Beware, if it is too dark for you to see him, but if you get close, you may be able to take a look. Um, me personally, I don't know about all you guys, but I'm not trying to get close to Evil Steve. And I'm not trying to take a look at Evil Steve. Yeah, sure, guys. I mean, sure. Like, the fact ability of, like, seeing a entity that we've never seen before in Minecraft. Like, Evil Steve, right? But the fact ability at hand, I still don't want nothing to do with that, guys. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm a skeleton in a tuxedo here. I'm just, I, da, 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 da. No, I, 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 I'm not going to take that risk. And I want him far, far away. Like, as far away as possible. I don't know about you guys, but jeez. Well, what do I think about the evil Steve creepypasta? I will say this. And I will say this one time and one time only. I don't want to run into evil Steve. Even if this story is fake, true, false, whatever the case may be, I don't want to have any relation with Evil Steve, but I do want to ask the simple question out there to every viewer. Have any of you spotted Evil Steve? Is this the first time you've heard of Evil Steve? What is your thoughts on Evil Steve? Do you think it's fake? Do you think it's real? Let me know in the comments section below. As you know, this channel, we always investigate creepy pastas, and at the rate of doing so, we grow fast. As for Team OG, continue sharing the videos. You guys are absolutely remarkable. And as a promise I continue to deliver these videos for the favors that you guys deliver from the likes and everything of relating sort I cannot thank you guys enough and I want to assure you all that we're going to continue creating awesome content and there's one thing that remains the same guys we're only going to motivate and we're going only going to elevate so guys let's take over this platform I want to thank you all for watching this creepypasta video that's going to have to do it for me today I know guys we've been uploading one video a day I know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on behind the scenes of my life right now um, and I, I wish I could tell you guys more honestly like I, I'm, I'm really starting to like like I don't know guys it's just crazy because I just want to take this time as the sun rises in this Minecraft world to just talk about something really briefly uh, because people that make it to the end of this video even care like if you just here for the creepypasta you're probably clicking off about now but if you care 
lately i've been feeling like a lot more of like a serious connection with you guys the viewers like and this is like a first for me because like yeah sure guys i know you guys have always been watching and viewing but i actually feel more of like a personal care like i don't know like it, it's really odd i just feel like we really have a great community now and like it's just evolving and it's getting better and i want to let you guys know i love you guys so much and truthfully it's just remarkable to have people viewing the content and being able to deliver the content to you people uh and i want to say that ultimately guys let's just continue rising and let's do the best that we can and uh these mysteries these creepy pastas i want you guys to share them with your friends family tell people to subscribe guys we want to get as many viewers on this channel as possible to showcase people that minecraft is not dead we're here. We're making it happen, guys. There may be a lot of Minecraft YouTubers quitting and stuff, but I want to let you guys know I got you guys covered. Love you guys so much. I will see you all in the next one. This skeleton has to go uh, iron his suit. It's looking a little bit uh, wrinkled. Anyways, see you guys. <laughs>